Hi, welcome back. <laughs> oh boy. How you doing, everybody? Hi, we're Volition. Uh, I'm Josh Stinson, the video editor here at Volition. Uh, and we are going to be talking about, again, Agents of Mayhem, our new game. Uh, this is our third week. Uh, we are going to be mostly focusing on the different playable agents uh, in our game, of which are 12. Uh, so uh, before we get into that, let's introduce everybody else who's here today. Uh, I'm Josh Behrens. I'm an animator. I'm Jenny Campbell. I'm a writer. I'm Ryan McCabe, lead agent designer. And over Skype we have... I'm Trevor DeVal, the voice of Hollywood. Hello, Internet. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a good start for your first ever stream, I gotta say. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about Hollywood today. Uh, if you haven't been to these streams before, uh, we focus like half and half on development of the character and then uh, on how the character actually plays in the game. Uh, so for this first bit, we're going to uh, we're going to be taking a look at some concept art and some other things uh, related to Hollywood, early production stuff. Uh, once we get this computer set back up, because it went to sleep. Thanks. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's just go switch right over to that. Um, so this is, I think, the earliest thing I have for Hollywood, just from guessing when I was sorting through all this stuff. Um, from what I heard, Hollywood is one of the first agents made, right? Does anybody know? He was, he yeah. was very early um, okay. in, in the cycle. Fortune was first, but Hollywood was being co-currently developed. Okay. Yeah, he was always like a known, like we knew he was he had a place, but you know, as far as like fully like cranking on Yep. Fortune was the the focus there. But yeah, he's a really early on agent. Okay. And Trevor was the first to record any dialogue for the game, wasn't he? Or at least for agents? I think so. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess since you know we're we're at the beginning here for Hollywood, uh, I guess could you elaborate a little bit, on, like what who Hollywood is? Um, well, Hollywood is kind of the the PR man for Mayhem. Um, he got his start as an actor um, on kind of like a cops type show, Bound by Law, but. Um, he accidentally was playing around with his gun and accidentally shot one of the perps in the head. <laughs> so his show got canceled, uh, but his agent managed to get him the PR gig with Mayhem. Uh, and so he's kind of been uh, working with them ever since. And he's one of my favorite characters. I think my top favorite character to write, absolutely. Um, it was a little, a little difficult at first because I had to find, like, that inner douchebag okay. within me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I totally get that. And, and then, um, like, I had to, like, I was constantly running him past, like, the other writers going, would a guy say this? Because I, like, found out, I was like, oh, wow, this is really kind of stretching myself a little bit. <laughs> um but yeah, he became my favorite to write. Um, yeah, I had to, to kind of like attach, uh, you know, find some way to like attach myself to him too, because I wasn't. So as far as like when I came on to animate him uh, earlier on the project, we had an animator move to cinematic, so I inherited a lot of his like animations and stuff. Some work was already done on him, so I wasn't really expecting to work on him. No, I knew who he was, so like I had to kind of like channel my inner, inner Hollywood channel that and uh like find you know what spoke to me uh and i have like you know a handful of kind of like references that that kind of just inspire me uh like one one big thing when it kind of like clicked for me is i don't know like anybody seen like scott pilgrim but there's lucas lee the guy that like chris evans plays yeah, and he, like, oh, uh, yeah. he walks yep. out onto the movie set and the director's about to like call the scene and he and he goes action and he just calls it and then like the shit that he says just like i was like this is this is hollywood this is, and uh and now like now that we've gotten to you know like the game, you know, and <laughs> it's finished, it's here, he's here. He's one of my favorite, like, agents to play as, and, like, I think specifically his voice lines just 
crack me up. Like, I want him in my squad because he says the funniest shit. It's, I, so, it's to- so good. I totally agree. I, I think that of the agents, he is hands down the funniest agent just from from his VO, the way he presents himself, the way he reacts to every situation that he's put in. It's he, he was gameplay we'll get into a bit later. He he was our everyman kind of character and we were like, well how do we make an everyman that is interesting and not boring and uh, the writing, the animation, the VO all came together to just make him an awesome awesome character. So when you first started doing the voice acting for Hollywood, like, did you have to really, did you try out a couple different, like, voices for him, or did you basically land, like, what he was, like, right from the get-go? Um, I, I, I'm kind of sorry to say that, yeah, I, I just am him, so. <laughs> well, you're both Canadian, right? Bag. Yeah, actually, like, Hollywood originally was supposed to be from L.A., and then when I found out Trevor was from Canada, I was like, what if... <laughs> Hollywood's dark secret is that he's actually Canadian, but he makes everybody think he's from LA so that he'll get hired more often. That's exactly what he would do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. That's exactly something he would do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wheels within wheels within wheels within wheels. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. Um, uh, yeah, I, I just, I, uh, like I said, sadly, I identified completely with this character. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got this. But interestingly enough, you know, you guys talk about how it's funny, and it was unbelievably funny, uh, the, the writing. But I would go in, and Amanda, our director, would very often have to say to me, she'd, I'd do a line, and she'd say, no, too funny. It's too funny. You can't be that funny. You have to be slightly less funny. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was, it was awesome. It was, it's great, great guy to play. But I, yeah, I didn't have to, to do anything with my voice. I, I just kind of, you know, just sort of me, but a little, uh, hey, douchebag, you know? <laughs> just pepper it on there. <laughs> Man, going through this this concept art, even the, the early stuff, the entire time, it just feels like the majority of his character was always there mm-hmm. from the get-go. Mm-hmm. It's that smirk. Like, yeah, that, that, that smirk is ever-present. <laughs> like, not, not on these, but not on these. <laughs> the, these are the mannequins in his. Uh, he keeps his extra suits on. This is the only one where it's like, oh wow, this looks. I, I was so happy when that started not being around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> version of Hollywood. Yeah, I, I wasn't a huge fan, but so okay. Short I, I love where where he's come to be. Yeah. So like. Yeah. I feel like. Like, the only thing that really changed with him was just, like, whether or not he had a giant floor on his back or on his chest or both. Mm. That was, like, the big thing that seemed to be juggling between with him. Um, but I believe uh, fairly soon. Yeah, I think aesthetically, like, when they were designing them, you know, they knew they wanted him to be, like, equipped, like, kind of, like, standard issue, like, mage, uh, you know, Agents of Mayhem gear. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, he's the PR guy. He's the face face of the the organization. So, you know, it was really important to have like the flur, and just this like nice like tactical gear that he's got. Right. The um. Oh wow! Well, yeah, that, this is his. Uh... <laughs> that, that eyeliner, <laughs> though. Yeah. <laughs> this man. This was a good over two years ago, I think. I remember this being in the game when I played it, but like it was like when I was first working here, I think. Because um, I know for a little bit at least he w- he was even just like a gray model, but yep, mm-hmm. yeah. Now this had to have been. This is over two years old at yeah. this point. Um, gosh, we still hadn't found our purple yet. No, we had not <laughs> found our purple because this is not our purple. His weapon is purple. Like ever, this is just, <laughs> this is all purple all the time, um, which is not what, what he looks like in game now. Also, his his facial structures changed a, a bit right. since then too, and he does not wear anywhere near as much mascara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it it may be a little too small uh, on the stream, but his I don't think his actual eyes are in yet. No, I think it's just a fl- flesh colored sockets. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of eyeliner to There's like no distract eyeliner. you from the fact his eyes aren't there. Like, <laughs> oh man! But uh, 
Here we go. Yeah. This is a little closer. Uh, and still got with the... How long was the floor in the front with him? I felt like it was there forever. Like, I... Th well, actually, no. Okay, it came off with the CG renders. This was... Um, so we've shown these every previous stream as well, I believe, just because our, our CG reveal trailer had the initial three agents, uh, Fortune, uh, Hardtack, uh, and Hollywood on it. But, uh, yeah, even, I think here, even his design wasn't finalized. Mm -hmm. I, I think Fortune it, was the only one that was finalized. Fortune point, was the right? only one finalized for that because both Hardtack and, and Hollywood are different. Like, Hollywood here is much more Tom Brady than he uh, <laughs> is uh, in game at this point. Yeah, and I was really confused why there was like a weird <laughs> old kind of gross looking Hollywood, but then I remembered, oh, oh that's, right. That's his, uh, his stunt that's double. His stunt yeah. double. Yeah. yeah. Who's there for all of five seconds before he dies? He's, he is vaporized. <laughs> maybe, I, I think you're just looking at the Skype window of me. That's that's what. You're oh yeah, right. <laughs> I should be looking one. I should be looking one monitor up. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but oh man, I love the stunt double there. I know. Because like he's he's there for such a small amount of time that you don't even realize like he's so close to Hollywood just older and a little mm -hmm. scuzzier looking that like when I looked at this I was like I thought we were going to have an older Hollywood in the game at some point or something <laughs> like is that him without makeup on is he really just that old grizzled old Hollywood <laughs> before he gets plastic surgery like he needs an eye patch he steals it from hard tech. yeah yeah like, he has a lot of spares <laughs> um, oh man yeah this is right around the time when I think we pretty much finalized Hollywood um, Trevor, how much of the game have you seen? Uh, not a lot. I've seen um, <clears throat> a lot of the cutscenes and, uh, and some of the gameplay, but uh, basically people would just show me, like, uh, sections of what they had done to kind of, like, you know, give me the feel of it. And because okay. they were super proud of it, which they should have been because it was awesome. Uh, so I haven't seen a, a ton, actually, but the stuff I have seen I've, I've really liked, which right. is uh, a nice bonus. <laughs> Also, I'm I'm curious. How long have you been voice acting for? It's been about seventeen years now. <laughs> Back when I had teeth. Yes, yes. Old Hollywood yeah. confirmed. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Old Hollywood. <laughs> seventeen years. Yeah, it's been a long time. Wow. Um, yeah, some more, basically final renders of Hollywood. I believe. Uh, was this before or after the face? Change. This is after. This is after. That's what I thought. Yeah. What? What even really changed about his face? Was it just like subtle facial structure stuff? Subtle structure stuff. Cheekbones okay. um, and jawline mm -hmm. were both uh, made to be a bit different. Like you can, if you look from the CG to here, um, you can get a pretty good understanding of like where okay. where we were brought in. Yeah, because it's it's just been so long that like I remember his face changed, but I couldn't remember how. It's just like, from a really quick glance, it was like, did he change? But yeah, like looking closer, especially with the CG stuff, like it's it's pretty obvious now. Um, <laughs> oh, I wish. Okay, um, did anybody here work specifically on his gun? Like the model itself. The model itself, or okay, would that be Mr. David? I was Payne, involved probably? in the conversations about about what what we were doing with it, and. Okay. Um, you know, it, it's a, again, standard assault rifle. That, that's the character we, we wanted, the gameplay we wanted for his weapon, and trying to figure out, well, what, what does a mayhem version of an assault rifle look like? So we did a lot of investigation into just, well, what does it look like? What are the angles? What is too futuristic? What, what is actually probably something that would belong to Legion rather than mayhem? Um, what is too military looking and trying to find that that middle ground okay because yeah, I was always curious like when people are when it's not something that's a lot more like based on being very realistic like you know a, a military base first person to shoot or something I'm always wondering like how much do you actually care how real guns work 
or like how they look or anything? Like, is it just for inspiration or do you have to have like some, does it actually help to have some kind of knowledge about actual firearms or anything like that? I, I would say that it helps. This, but when you're doing the gameplay, it, it helps. And okay. when you're doing the the models, it, it's going to help. When you're doing the audio, it, it's going to help. So there there's a lot of reasons to understand real world weaponry. Um, you know, I uh, you know previously worked on um, not here, but previously worked on games that were real, real more realistic military shooters. So I had I brought in quite a bit of knowledge about how all this stuff kind of worked. And, and just knowing the difference between, well, what, what does a three-round burst weapon feel like? What does a autom- fully automatic weapon feel like? Right. Um, you know, those kinds of things. And you, you, you want to bake all that kind of stuff into the way the gun looks as well because you want somebody to look at a weapon and kind of understand what, what they're going to get from a gameplay perspective out of that. So it's, it, you know, it's a very holistic approach to, to how something is going to work. Okay. Yeah, I'd say that that knowledge is very valuable. Like, uh, I don't, not like much of a gun guy, but like even just for the weapon animation itself, you know, like I go to our weapons artists and like, hey, how does this feel? Like, how do we want this to animate? You know, how you're the gun guy, you know guns. So uh, like leveraging that, that knowledge. Um, yeah, because I know on the on the final gun that he has now, you know, it has like a slide that like kicks out the shells and stuff. And okay, like we had to. I think uh, David Payne came to me one day. He was like, "Yo, we gonna have him uh, his slide kicking back and stuff." And I was like, uh, "Yeah, <laughs> let's do it." <laughs> it's like uh, Tilly didn't think of that. <laughs> I just uh, remembered, Trevor. You voiced other characters for our game other than Hollywood, haven't you? Yes. yes. Yeah, it was um, specifically one for the CGI trailer, right? Let's say that again. It was one for the CGI trailer, right? It was the scientist, oh, the I scientist, think. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> um, some some like Korean scientist or something, I think. Mm-hmm. Right. And then was it Scooter the other one you played? <laughs> was it Scooter. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Scooter. The giant yeah. talking cow. <laughs> Scott. Did you receive any direction for that voice, or did you just go for it? Did you just see that cow and know what to do? Well, you know, they basically just said tap into the other aspect of your personality and uh, you know, go from there. All Which right. is barbecue, right? <laughs> yeah. Barbecue. <laughs> it's, I believe it's Scooter's Charbecue. Charbecue. Charbecue, Char- yes. <laughs> Mm, yeah, and there's like a, I guess this is an early animation that one of our previous animators did, uh, that, you know, kind of just getting, we, uh, our approach with animation, we try to get as much personality out of the characters where we can. This isn't like his, his animation that's final in game now, but, uh, you know, it kind of speaks to his character where he's just like, flips up a clip, slams another one in, isn't even like looking at it. He's mm-hmm. just like super showy, uh. Yeah, yeah. Really it, cool rem- stuff. it reminds me how showy his melee animation is. Uh, we don't actually have a, a clip of that here, but we'll see when we play the game. But he he throws his gun in the air so he can punch somebody before he then catches <laughs> yeah. it again, ready to fire. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, it's oh, I just rem- <sighs> looking. Okay, so this is, this shot here is. Uh, from an earlier version of the game where he's beginning to do his his mayhem move, which is he puts on shades and then explosions just start happening everywhere, and it's just great. Uh, I remember there is a bug that we don't have any footage or images of. Do you remember this? I, I think I know where, what, which one you're talking about. He, there is a bug where he would just normally already be wearing a pair of cool shades, so he would just put a second <laughs> pair of shades on top of his first pair. Uh, and I really wish we had footage of that anywhere because uh, it is possibly my favorite. Generally, bugs are awful, but that was a good one. <laughs> That's um, awesome. We have some more shots from early alpha builds, I believe. Um, pretty much done with Hollywood there. but uh, So we have a couple uh, bits of concept art here that are for his 2D intro. Um, we've actually shown a small clip of this once before if you were one of the people who came for the first time we streamed AOM, like the, the re-reveal of it 
uh, about a month and a half ago. Uh, if you stuck around about 30 seconds after I said the stream ended and it didn't end, I played a little clip from that with Hollywood actually shooting that dude in the head. Mm -hmm. uh, this is him <laughs> getting thrown in fucking jail. So. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is one of the ones that you were shown, Trevor, the, uh, the 2D intro where he, he shoots the dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, a couple more more pieces. This is that's the unfortunate that's, right. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. Herp that gets shot. Yeah. Oh, R.I.P. in peace. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. This is his outfit for Bound by Law, correct? Yes, it is. Yeah, his. That's his skip tracer outfit. The uh, kind of dog, the bounty hunter style <laughs> if only he could have a m amazing mullet that would have been oh man fan i could just go back in amazing. time and do yeah. that right <laughs> if only we had time hollywood with a mullet maybe old hollywood, maybe old, hollywood. old hollywood would have the mullet yeah hollywood grows out a mullet <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, Akila official in the chat says, God, I want to punch him in the face. I love this. <laughs> in all Great. caps, too. So. Yeah. I mean, I guess mission complete, Hollywood? <laughs> uh, another earlier version of his outfit. I don't think this was... Was this in the 2D intro? Did this make it in? Mm, possibly. Possibly. No, yeah, he, he is wearing his outfit. Speech. Yeah, yeah when he when he's get, he may have been modified. Yeah, yeah, but I think it, it got modified for the, the final one. Yeah. But yeah, moving on to uh, some, some final art of Hollywood here. This is some of the nice promo art. Is this, this might be on the cover, on the box. If not, art. it's very close. To the, if not, to it's very close, yep. yeah. Um, one is like, he's shooting with one hand on the cover, right? Yep. Right, like, yes, that's what yeah, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> This was it. at one of the press events. This was just like on a wall, like giant, if I remember correctly. Uh, we showed some pictures of that a couple weeks ago as well. Um, <laughs> another screenshot Hollywood of Jason Whiteside. Action. Great screenshots. Um, this is Hollywood oh. air dashing, uh, so you can air dash uh, while you're shooting. Wow. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, I believe we actually have one video to show here, too. Uh, so there was something we showed uh, last stream, uh, specifically at the end of Hard Tech's, or actually it was Fortune's stream, I believe, where we, we showed a bug from a very, very early version of the game where, um, so when you switch between agents, they would play an animation. Yeah. Where they all had a unique animation for, like, leaving and bringing the next person in. Uh, and Hollywood had one, and we actually have video of the mocap uh, mo session for this. Mm. <laughs> Tagging the dude out. Yeah. yeah. Taking out his phone. This, uh, uh, yeah, I think so earlier on uh, an early version of our, like, swapping, agent swapping system, we had, uh, you know, little canned animations at the at the beginning of them coming in or coming out, trying to like squeeze in some personality there. Eventually, like, you know, uh, it ended up being taken out just for yeah. hot swapping agents. You know, like it just feels so good to yeah, like to just remember... instantly swap them in and out. And I think this was actually for a uh, um, not sure this was for a swap animation, but I love this. So uh, I don't know if this ended up going in, but like he's basically tagging in like. Like another dude. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I remember like the animations cool were stuff. the animations were pretty neat, but like it really did slow down how yeah. quickly because he had to watch the agent stop, do the animation, then swap with the other one. So yeah, it was it was just better to uh, uh, just make it a lot quicker and take those, not keep those animations. But um, let's see what time is it? Okay, it's we might as well at this point uh, once I switch our, our camera back over, we will uh, start looking at Hollywood in the game. Rip stunt double. <laughs> Is somebody mourning the start the stunt double? Uh, yes. He's a stunt double. <laughs> I know. Oh, I mean, the dude man. got vaporized, though. I know, and then OSHA must have cracked down on yeah. him because he wasn't was, allowed to have stunt doubles after it that. Was, that was, it was very painful looking. If you go watch that again. <laughs> he does turn. Nobody into a wants that. He briefly does turn into a skeleton. So yes. I guess we can feel a little bad for him. Yes. <laughs> Although I don't know, being a skeleton sounds pretty cool sometimes. Hmm. 
Specifically, like one of those skeletons that just like terrorizes people, ghost skeleton or something. All right, um, we are almost set up for uh, some gameplay with Hollywood. Uh, so I guess with Hollywood, uh, I guess specifically, especially with him more than other characters, like what he is character-wise kind of really extended to how he is gameplay-wise too, right? Yes. So we, we needed to have, when you have a large cast of characters, we needed to have somebody that, from a gameplay perspective, every, anybody could pick up and play. Because we have agents that are very advanced from a gameplay perspective. We have agents that are kind of middle ground, and we needed to, to fill that spectrum. And we wanted Hollywood to be somebody that was uh, right in the middle, somebody that has played games, can just pick up and easily understand. So that's why we we talked about okay we're going to give him a pretty standard assault rifle, uh, but but how do we you know spice all how do we spice his character up? Right. So also we're in a, a slightly different area than we we've been previous streams. We're always hopping around the city a little bit. Um, so yeah, I guess anybody else want to speak to Hollywood before we get to like the nitty gritty with him here? Uh, so all you're doing is like taunt and compliment stuff, and uh, this, you know we're trying to for each character we try to okay, cater to them, their personality, and everything. And so if, like Hollywood literally just compliments himself to do a co like to compliment like in general he just compliments himself because that's that's what he do. So he just is like look at me, <laughs> you know, and says some smart ass line. <laughs> it's just it's so good. Right, and there's a. Uh... Several people in the chat, <laughs> Mega Freeman and a few others, who are into Hollywood's butt. Mm -hmm. I feel like every I time wish, we have Hollywood on this stream, everyone's always pointing I wish out the Kate butt. Nelson were here to yeah. talk about Hollywood's butt. Well, he used he used to have more butt. It that was, was oh, it did was, he? It was a sad time oh, that's when right. he lost some of his butt. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he got a butt reduction. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I believe there, somewhere in the game there is an animation of him taking a picture of his own butt. Uh, I believe you're right. I believe you're right, yeah. That is in here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Hollywood. Because <laughs> that's what he does. Just checking it out, making sure it's still mm -hmm. there. Yeah, people are just asking, like, but why did you do that? That's a good question. Oh, man. But uh, why... But why, yeah. I'll see you guys later. I will say. Bye. I will say. You're not allowed on the streams anymore. I can't believe what you just did. Damn it. All right. So uh, but let's talk about Hollywood a little bit uh, and, and gameplay-wise here. Um, so if you were not here for previous streams, I guess we'll do a quick rundown of uh, the abilities the agents have. Uh, so every agent, you know, has their, their gun. Uh, everyone has a triple jump. Uh, you can dash on the ground, and there's also a couple different traversal abilities. So with Hollywood, like we mentioned earlier when we were looking at that screenshot, uh, he can dash in the air. Uh, other characters can uh, wall climb, either by you know sticking a harpoon in the wall so they can get some extra distance, or just running straight up it if you happen to be Shahrazad and also be a ninja. Um, some agents can also uh, temporarily go invisible uh, instead of having a dash move on the ground. Um, but on top of that, uh, we also have the, uh, the special move. This is something that's on a, a cooldown meter, although for the uh, for purposes of the stream, we're, we have god mode on, so I can just fucking spam this grenade all I want, really. Um, <laughs> So like pelvic thrust. Yeah, and the, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why don't I pelvic thrust a whole lot? And whoop, kill that person there. Uh, whoops. Uh, but with that special move, every agent has multiples of those, and you you unlock these throughout the game uh, through progression. So, uh, in the uh, squad selection menu, you know, you can go to Hollywood, and we can change his special uh, with the three different here. Uh, and on top of that, we have several other gadgets that you can equip. There's three for each agent's weapon, and then three uh, as a passive for each agent, too. That just gives them some kind of passive change to their stats or how something about them works. Um, so I guess, uh, do you want to talk about his specials a little bit? Sure. 
up, we want, we want to go into him too. So his default is the attention seeker. It's a high damage grenade. And the, the, the grenade went through quite a bit of iteration. It, it's kind of weird for somebody that we knew was going to, that we wanted to be a very straightforward character. He actually took up a lot of time for trying to nail that down and, and get exactly what, what we wanted to do. So at one point, his grenade, it was, uh, you know, something where you would shoot it out and it was timed, but enemies would try to get out of the way so it didn't feel too good. You would end up missing a lot. And we've gone to a... Uh, thing with the grenades now where when you shoot them as if it detects an enemy close uh, to the grenade it's going to go ahead and explode um, so you can kind of catch uh, enemies uh, mid-air with a grenade if you want to or uh, you can place them on the ground still and try to g get a good roll on them now the the base one the attention seeker just does a lot of damage uh, in an area and he has two other ones if you want to kind of uh, trend him to be damage oriented, but with some level of uh, uh, status effect flexibility is, is a good way to put it. So if we, we do we want to look at the other special gadgets yeah, now yeah. too? Um, so uh, the other ones, the, the Photoshop job, this one does a moderate amount of damage, but it makes targets vulnerable. Now, vulnerable is going to make enemies take extra damage. So you can use this as a setup for other agents or as a good setup for his mayhem ability. So you can shoot this out, probably get uh, somebody killed, and uh, any en other enemies that get hit with it are going to get that vulnerable status effect. And when you then switch um, or uh, you know use his mayhem, they're going to take extra damage. Works really well with hard tack shotgun. Woo! And uh, yeah. <laughs> the red carpet bomb, um, same moderate amount of damage, but it blinds and slows targets, so they're going to be less accurate. And uh, it, this one gives you a chance to kind of like regroup, reorganize. You know, get your that that grenade got hit by a car. Nice bounce. Flew up into the air. That was that was cool. Um, and this one's actually especially good if you have a lot of enemies. Since he's a more mid-range character, if you're fighting a bunch of swarm troopers or shock troopers, something that tries to get up close to you, uh, using this grenade is going to allow you to uh, reposition. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can you can see that it changes like the effects and stuff to kind of you know convey what what exactly it's doing. So. Yeah. I should also mention that uh, compared to previous streams, I I pushed up the, our difficulty level even higher. I believe we're on level eight now, which is I think is agent of the month maybe. Um, but here, real quick, do you want to play for? Do I want to play? Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh, watch oh boy, out! Thanks. I'm sorry, I gave you the controller yeah, at a really you, you, bad time. You, you gave it to me at a great with great timing here. Um, have you ever even played this game? We I, have <laughs> I even? Bro, do you even play Agents of Mayhem? Do you even play? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. All right. That's your um, girl. That, that is my girl, Fortune. If you didn't see the first stream, we talked all about her. But we're talking about Hollywood, and I'm just going to punch this dude in the face. Okay, you ready for it? We, oh, are I'm going to get hit by a car, and then I'm going to punch this dude in the face. Boom. <laughs> so, yeah, throws the gun. Catches it. And that was awesome. Goodbye, Swarm Trooper. Um... Man, talking and playing at the same time. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, the I thing. just need you to touch the the other PC here, for a sec, so if you want to swap back to me okay. and also give it back to me at a very inopportune time as revenge. All right. Well, what, what are we at? Oh, I'll, I'll wait until we're uh, at max max. Uh, oh yeah, get get uh, extreme malice alert level here. Yeah, <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting close. We are getting close. We're getting pretty close. So we've, we've, well, we've looked at the um, the different specials at this point. Oh, tank trooper. Uh, Doing that to him is actually pretty, pretty, pretty good. The tank trooper actually has a weak point on his back that, that you want to hit. Yeah. Um, we looked at those. Do we want to? Do we want to look at some of the other stuff that he has? Yeah. Let's let's start setting up some of his other other gadgets okay, cool. now, since they're not even equipped at the moment. Right, we'll want it once we get to extreme malice on difficulty eight anyway. Okay. So what what else do we have in gadgets here? We we looked at all three of these, and uh, we're going to go into the different weapon gadgets we have here now. Um, 
are we going to put each one on and just uh, show stuff? A lot of these are more. Yeah, let's let's know, just run through these real quick. We'll, we'll run through them. Yeah. And um, then then I'll put on one that I think is going to help you the best yeah. uh, for for your fight. Uh, on, on extreme malice, so the rapid fire magazine um, it uh, decreases the the size of the mag, uh, but you can get a chance to automatically reload if you get crit hits. And one of the things that we play into with with Hollywood is the ability to shoot from the hip and doing things with with critical hits on him. Uh, the target optimizer increases range when firing from the hip. So if you don't want to go down sights with him, you can have this on and still get a, a good amount of range. Going down sights in the game actually increases your range. But again, character we wanted to uh, have anybody be able to play. This is something we thought would be, we'd be good for him. And uh, finally, the run and gun stock. If you are continuing to fire for at least two seconds, he gains haste. Kind of encourages you to just uh, lay on the fire button. We'll, we'll put that one on. All right. Is that is that okay? Yeah. All right. Well, here we'll we'll, we'll, we'll show this off. <laughs> uh, also, a, a question I had for yeah. forgotten to ask uh, specifically specifically for Trevor. What are some of the other things he worked on? Uh, in this game? Uh, no, just projects in general in your career. Oh well, there's been a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the kind of big one I'm known for right now is Rocket Raccoon in Marvel's animated Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, um, wow, okay. And, <laughs> I didn't yeah. realize for a second. Yeah, That's and uh, em the, the Emperor and many others on Lego Star Wars, uh, all through that series of shows. Um, I was Dookie on Johnny Test. I've done a bunch of My Little Pony characters. Uh, <laughs> lots. <laughs> oh, man. Feel like you're a good fit for the Rocket Raccoon. Uh, I'm gonna have to watch that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> uh, thank you very much. I'm very happy to hear you say that. Uh, I love it. I, I I had heard some dialogue from that show before, but I just didn't put two and two together. It's like, I swear to God, there's sometimes when voice actors like do uh, a, a even just a slightly different voice from what they you know can. That sometimes like their their popular voice that gets used in a lot of projects or gets requested a lot. And just like just doing that just completely makes me go not recognize who it is for a while, and then it's just like once somebody tells me, God. Well, it's actually duh. it's very unusual in this game with Hollywood this, for me to play somebody who's so close to my normal voice mm -hmm. that almost never happens. Like I'm almost always playing characters that are way, way, way off huh. <laughs> what I normally sound like. Are there, so this was a nice change. Are there any <laughs> other characters you've actually done that? Are, are close to your normal voice, aside from Hollywood? Um, I did a series years ago, some anime series called uh, Gundam Seed, I think. Okay. And uh, yep. there was a character who was very much like, he didn't have, he didn't have the same attitude as, as Hollywood, but the same kind of voice placement. But other than that, it's pretty rare. Okay. When, when it's just me with a bit of a swagger, it's pretty rare. <laughs> I think I saw a few questions in the chat. Uh, Flippy asked if there's ragdoll. There is for enemies. Uh, your player character will not ragdoll. And then uh, they can get staggered, they, and they yeah, can they get uh, staggered. push back. Yeah, yeah. there's there's staggers and stuff. But as far as ragdoll, uh, your player will not do that. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> uh, and then so they were asking or suggesting that. Hollywood was a brony, and I don't think so, but no. I believe there is an, a there member is of the Agents of Mayhem character. that is a brony. Yeah, like in in the Agents of Mayhem universe, we don't have My Little Pony, but we do have Butterfly Princess, which is a show of puppies with butterfly wings. <laughs> and one of our characters is, I'll say, an uber fan. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. You got yeah, it? Yeah, totally. <laughs> so we'll talk more about that yeah, later. Yeah, a few um, weeks from now. I kept pushing to get, like, a, a live-action Butterfly okay. Princess show filmed. Um, <laughs> we cast all the roles with the different dogs <laughs> that co-workers owned. Um, oh, my God. I never heard about this. Yeah. It happened. And then... The I'll like the main you want to? Yeah, sure. main okay. butterfly princess was Whoa. supposed to be Carmel Cutie Star, but then we found out Carmel Cutie is a porn star, and so we couldn't oh, use no! that name. Oh no! Well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh man. 
All right. Um, I guess we should, you know, get into the rest of these these gadgets real quick. Oh, yep. Also, there's some things that have just been happening while playing as Hollywood <laughs> that are... Uh, there are uh, not gadgets, but uh, so I guess we should show the, the upgrades. Yep. Uh, perhaps this is why this was so, slightly difficult. I hadn't actually... Spent any points he, yet. He's leveled up. His oh. points have not been spent yet. Oh, cool. So we'll just dump a couple of these in everywhere. Um, but yeah, these... Uh, we, we talked about this last week as well, but when you level up, you get points to uh, distribute through these four different attributes, and they're, they're different for every agent, correct? Yes. Yeah. So, like, you can upgrade Cover Boy, and it just increases the size of Hollywood's magazine. Uh, Action Hero increases how long his mayhem ability lasts for... Uh, New Age Guru uh, speeds up how quick his special ability refreshes. Uh, and Team Player is a bonus for the entire squad. So no matter who you're playing as in the squad, this is always in effect. And it's uh, uh, just a 30% bonus to any mayhem you're, you're getting from stuff. We have a question over here. Ah, uh, we do have a question from over here. Let's pull it up. Uh, somebody can read that for me. Oh. Uh, for Trevor... Uh, and I say, if I may ask, what advice can you give those who are pursuing voice acting to be taken more seriously? To be taken more seriously? Boy, I spend my whole career trying to be taken less seriously. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> 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 um, uh, it, it's about uh, the love of the game. Of course it is. You, you have to, you have to uh, love what you're doing. You gotta be good. You have to know how to act. That's kind of the thing a lot of people kind of forget. They think it's Oh, well, just doing funny voices, it actually has nothing to do with that. It's all about uh, being able to to act and find finding the subtleties of how to communicate um, a character's state of mind and intentions only through your voice. That's the whole job. So uh, the more acting training you get, the the better you're gonna you're gonna be, presumably. So <laughs> that's that's probably the number one thing. Yeah, I know like we have um... <laughs> Wow. Uh, we there's... had some people who, who worked at Volition when uh, moved to L.A. to do voice acting, and they kept saying that everybody kept suggesting taking acting classes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's because that's what it is. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a, a wide perception that voice voice actors aren't really actors, <laughs> but that's <laughs> not the case. <laughs> yeah. Man, I am crashing at everything right now because everybody's going nuts. There is a... Uh, I should mention, you know, this is obvious. This is actually a uh, older build of the game that we're we're playing. So every once in a while, there there, you know, there's always a chance that something unintentional may happen, like you know, small hitches and stuff like that. Just because it's you know, still in development. But uh, I was actually turning back around there because, uh, as you may have seen, the weather suddenly changed. The uh, everything got a lot greener, and that's uh, something we're saving for later. There, there's a reason why everybody's cars were suddenly turning around and then exploding. Yes. So, <laughs> um, I suppose, uh, let's talk a little bit more about Hollywood's abilities here. Also, who's that question from, actually? That was from uh, Tiger's Lion's Cheetah. There you go. Um, we so, didn't actually look at his passive gadgets either. Yeah, well, yeah, let's actually go into that first. So, uh, also, I guess we haven't pointed out this time yet, um, I also have Legion Tech equipped on all these. Um, so there's a late game thing uh, that uh, you can start crafting that's called Legion Tech. You find these schematics throughout the game. Uh, you have to find crafting materials to put these together. And uh, they are uh, things that you get to slot into each of your gadgets uh, that further enhance what they can do. Uh, so you can see, like, if we scroll down here, you can see that we have an Elite Tech slotted into the Attention Seeker gadget. Uh, elite Tech is a special one. There's like one of those per agent? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and that is, depending on which type of gadget is put on, it has a different effect, whereas normal Legion Tech just has one effect no matter what it's put on. So like we slotted the Elite Tech onto the Attention Seeker, and because it's on a special gadget, there's a 20% chance to uh, completely cool down our special ability when we use it. Um, yeah, there's various effects for, for all these. Like, if an enemy deals damage to Hollywood, there's 15% chance the attack inflicts enfeeble on them, which 
lowers their defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we I have all of these unlocked. So uh, if we go into passive, you know, these are gadgets that just have some kind of passive effect on uh, every a- on whatever agent is equipped to. Although, excuse me, they're unique to each agent. So um, but yeah, we have last ditch launcher. Um, if you want to talk about sure. the passives. So the passives, obviously, are ones that you put on, and they're just um, always active as long as you have them equipped. Uh, Again, how you want to play Hollywood, if you want to make him, uh, you know, an an even uh, more uh, run-and-gun type character, or if you want to, like, give him extra uh, damage or use his special ability more, this is a good one for the special ability. When his shields are at 50% or lower, so... um, you know, if you uh, like to just get in the mix and uh, stay playing as Hollywood so that your shields are generally gone, this will uh, let that grenade uh, cool down even faster than it already does. And you can stack this with all the other different things that cool down uh, his his special ability too. And you have the stuntman equipped to this. And the stuntman, what it does is if you are uh, jumping, um, air dashing, whatever, uh, and you get kills, you actually generate bonus mayhem, so that allows you to use your mayhem more often with him. Okay. And yeah, I guess uh, we should mention too that like with all these uh, gadgets for the three different categories, they're also kind of built around the idea of making m- different types of builds for yes. each agent. Um, what types of builds are there for, for Hollywood? Uh, Hollywood has a, a build that is just more general, um, you know, keeping the running gun going. Mm-hmm. Uh, one that is kind of built around the idea that you don't have to go down sights. Um, so you can uh, just increase your range there, uh, get kills without having to, to do that, or, and get like extra crit damage and whatnot. Um, and uh, one that actually pretty heavily focuses on uh, debuffs for the, uh, for the enemies. Yeah. Um, each agent has around three different builds that okay. they can, you can build towards. And you can mix and match. It's not like you're locked into one specific thing. You feel free to put in whatever you want and, and, and have play the agent the way that you want to. Yeah, and like the, the, the amount of combinations there are, even before you factor in Legion tech, is pretty high. It's pretty astounding. Like once you add in Legion tech, it's, you know, pretty ridiculous. Um, Yeah, we have these two others here as well. So Spotlight Booster, um, his Mayhem ability, which we haven't haven't shown off yet. Ah, yeah. Um, We we need to show it off. It's a timed ability, and during that uh, ability, I kind of don't want to ruin it. I don't want to talk about it until we show it. Maybe we should. Maybe let's let's show it. I think we should show it. Here, let's just uh, we'll we'll call in some more enemies here. Uh, And if people are wondering how I'm calling in enemies, it's a dev console thing, so it's. Uh, it's a, a dev-only feature. But yeah, uh, if we want to turn on our mayhem here. Of course, there's a bunch of invincible dudes here, too, so. <laughs> that van's doing a pretty good job taking them out for you, though. He, yeah, that van was actually doing a great job, so. <laughs> Thanks, van. Okay, yeah, this is lasting pretty long. Yeah, because you, you keep you keep killing guys, and you have that equipped, so it's uh, pretty pretty ridiculous. And we're done. Okay, there we go. All right, yeah. so it's it's action movie mode, right? Where um, Hollywood goes into what he knows best, being an action movie star. He he really wants to be an action movie star, is is what it boils down to. But you get a lot of explosions that are going on. His weapon uh, switches to a, a fully automatic weapon. He gains stacks of fortify, so it doesn't matter how much shit is coming at him. Um, and uh, he moves around a bit faster, too. So that one ability we were looking at that I didn't want to talk about till we had seen it, it decreases the amount of time that he stays in that mode. But if you get kills while you're uh, in that mayhem mode, it actually increases uh, the amount of time it adds to it. So if you're in a situation where you have a lot of dudes around and you activate that, um, you can uh, keep that going for for quite a bit of time. Did I mention the random explosions? You get a lot of random explosions random that happen. Explosions. Yes. Uh, we sh- we should also mention that. Uh, so that. Uh, Mayhem ability was specifically the upgraded one. Yes, that is the upgraded one. The yeah. the non-upgraded one, these are the core upgrades. Um, 
do we want to look at the Mayhem one real quick since we were just talking yeah. about that one? Yep, America. Um, <laughs> so it's uh, this makes his Mayhem ability do even more explosions. You have unlimited ammo in your weapon, so you don't have to stop to reload during it, and you have that really fast rate of fire going on while you're while you're in that mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess mentioning what the the crystal upgrades are. So when you're Throughout the game, uh, you can be awarded crystals, uh, dark matter, excuse me, uh, upgrade cores, um, either full ones or you can find shards scattered throughout the city. If you pick up 10 of them, you get one upgrade core. And yeah, you just use these to purchase these core upgrades, which are more passive abilities where once you get them, they're just on and they they always affect the agent for, it's a permanent upgrade. Um, so yeah, like we have Macaroni Western, like you were, you were talking about, uh, Having a build where he is more run and gun, just firing from the hip, not yep. having to fine aim a lot, uh, and this really lends itself towards that because uh, when you're shooting from the hip, you earn a bonus to any critical hit damage you you deal. So, um, delayed reaction, which is probably my favorite one for Hollywood. Yes, it's so good. Uh, his dash leaves behind a grenade, and it's is it just as strong as the normal it's, special grenade? It's a, it, not quite as strong as a special grenade, but it's a pretty powerful grenade. Okay. Yeah, because, like, you can, you know, switch to, like, this special where, you you know, you can blind people, but it's like, I still want that grenade to blow people up. Well, if I just dash right next to a dude, that grenade touches him and it instantly blows up. Uh, and it's probably my favorite upgrade to Hollywood just because it, it turns the dodge into an attack. And I'm a big fan of that type of stuff in games, so... Um, yeah, the... Uh, and then his, his third crystal upgrade was, you know, once again, upgrading his, uh, his mayhem. And there's, every agent can have their mayhem upgraded yes. with a, a crystal upgrade. Um, oh, there was uh, a question for you, mm -hmm. uh, because there was a, you know, a, some AOM trailers have come out fairly recently, and there were a couple shots of Hollywood apparently being in a porn. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and... That person wanted to know, uh, I would buy? What's he into? He is pansexual. There you go. Um, <laughs> into everything, likes anything pretty. Um, but at the moment, he thinks he's in a monogamous relationship with another one of the agents. Oh, uh, right. Daisy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> she doesn't have the same idea as him, but I think that um, he just, he loves her because he likes to be dominated. Um, and Daisy wow. would do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess you just let him sit here and get hit a bunch then. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> but it unlocks his secret ability. It actually doesn't. Oh. No secret abilities. We're no, no secret abilities. But... Yeah, they, they, we, we were receiving a couple of questions about that since that last trailer came out, actually. Um, so I just want to set that straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, little known fact, uh, the, uh, the other actor, Marcus Thunderpump, <laughs> uh, Hollywood his, was his best man at his wedding later on. Really? But, I don't think For real? That, I don't think that ever made it into Oh, game. it didn't make it into game. Okay. Yeah, no, it was a line that was written, but I think it ended up getting cut. <laughs> okay. And, and on that point about the uh, crystal upgrades, the core upgrades, they are all beneficial. They are entirely additive. They yeah. don't take away anything. Yeah, there's, there's literally no trade-off for, for any of them. Uh, it just makes them better. Um, also, I forget... Uh, okay, yeah, that grenade totally works if you air dash, too. Yep. Fucking sweet. Um, but, yeah, is there anything else you want to mention about Hollywood's uh, gameplay here? I feel like we've covered the majority of it, but I, I want to make sure that we're covering all of our bases here. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like I said, he, he is a... From a gameplay perspective, we, we started off, you know, how do we make somebody that anybody can pick up and play? And then, well, what do we do to make him uh, inter really interesting from a gameplay perspective in, in other ways that also play into his personality right. and make him uh, really showy with everything that he does? So that's why you get the animation of the, uh, the uh, 
thrust whenever he fires the grenade, his uh, me melee ability with throwing that gun in the air and punching and then catching it. So everything just plays into his personality while still being a uh, character that anybody can uh, really, really understand. I remember, I just suddenly remembered, because, you know, you were speaking that there are uh, builds for making his mayhem last really long. I remember, I can't remember, I think it may have been two summers ago when we were, people were still really, like, experimenting with combat. And I remember somebody, maybe it was you, was giving a presentation for, like, the, the gadgets, like the gadget system and all that. Mm. And I remember showcasing a video where it's like, oh, these, you know, these gadgets help extend his mayhem. And I remember the video was like three minutes long yes. of him just constantly mowing dudes down. If you're good, you can do that. Still, you think? Um, if, I mean, if you I, have... I guess if you had yeah, enough enemies if, around, yeah. right? If you're, if you're in there with the uh, alert level and it's getting pretty high and you're getting lots of dudes coming in, yeah. it's... You, you, you can keep that going for quite a while. Yeah. I suppose, yeah, if you're on a higher difficulty, too, that it would yeah. help as well. Um, okay, it's actually almost five. Um, so before we wrap things up, we have a couple bugs to show. Oh, boy. A couple good Hollywood bugs. So uh, let's just get a second to uh, set up these good old bugs. Um yeah, I want to I say uh, Hollywood's uh, Mayhem ability. I think that that animation was one of the first to go f with facial animation and everything, like, fully through the pipe. Uh, so that was, like, a really cool thing when we mm -hmm. got that in, like, seeing what, what a Mayhem ability, you know. And it was actually and still just a month and a half ago that I was still tweaking when the explosion went off <laughs> during his yeah. the intro oh, really? animation. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, I remember that coming in really early, but that was like the... Because, like, <clears throat> when I first started working here and, like, the version of the game I, I was shown, everything was still gray box. I don't think there were even any playable... Like that. <clears throat> yeah, we'll bring that up in a second. I don't think there were even any playable characters that were more than just, like, a gray, featureless person. So, like, when that animation came in, that was, like, the first thing that told me what this game was going to be like. I was like, okay, I guess I didn't make a mistake coming here, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Is this um, Gunhead? Yeah, let's bring this up. <laughs> gunhead. Yeah, uh, again, like I was just mentioning, this is a super early version of our game uh, with a really old version of the UI, too. Wow, forgot that it looked like that. But yeah, there was just a time where all the enemies spawned with guns in their heads. Yep. I, for, I forget if they, I mean, yeah, it must, it must have been like when they looked, the gun turned with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, everything it's a, moved. It's attached to their head. It's... Oh, man. And everything worked. <laughs> so, you, I mean, even even over on the right, you have the the, the sniper with the sniper rifle in their, in their head. Oh, right. So yeah. you get the giant red beam coming from the gun in their head. It was terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, and then after that we had uh Ah yes. <laughs> the... Good old IK on the feet. Yeah. Mm. That was Oh, so that's what's happening? They're they're yeah. trying to okay. So I'm sure this is early when uh our IK system was put in and you know, there's gonna be bugs. It's gonna be on when it shouldn't be on. <laughs> uh Wow, for some, I, for some reason it never occurred to me that it was them literally trying to have their feet placed <laughs> on a surface that made sense. Adjusted somewhere, yeah. And I mean, where else would you put it than on the dash? I mean, these new future cars have yeah. the pedals up on the top, but so... Public service announcement, never sit like this in a vehicle. You can get seriously injured if you're in a front-end collision with your feet on the <laughs> he's, dashboard. He's not wearing a seatbelt, either. Yeah, he's true. not. He is. Wow. He's going to have a bad time today. <laughs> oh, man. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> This is this is art. Okay. Does anybody know why this happened? No words. No, I. No. <laughs> Hollywood's hair It's like, did he punch him or something? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if he's. I can't tell if it's in the middle of his punching animation or if he's like. It doesn't look like his gun is out. So maybe he's punching. It's probably the dude that was just driving that car and he just flew through the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a seatbelt on. <laughs> I really appreciate that he took the time to look at the camera while he's doing that, though. <laughs> yeah. You know. Pose. 
Uh, and these are possibly my favorite Hollywood bugs. I just like, well, this is just a day in the life of me working. And his his materials came in not quite uh, where where they should be. But I love, I still like to imagine that he has like a little a little fleur like mayhem <laughs> logo tattooed with, like there. tattooed yeah, under his like hair. Because uh, if you shave all the hair there, it's, it's tattooed <laughs> there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, for, we have multiple angles of this, Stuff so you can like really see happens. his uh, the personality. He's got a face tattoo. He's got his own face. Yeah, own face. <laughs> I, oh man, he's got his own face tattooed on his head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, are his eyebrows Stuff. just not there? Are you seeing through his head? There. I think so. Um, that's what it looks like. They're there. They're just, no, just the wrong. Yeah. It's just oh, not where it's supposed okay. to be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, that, that, that face is great. Good. And then I think the next one, oh yeah, <laughs> that was just. I think I was working on a smile and I just scaled his lips to nothing because <laughs> I, I don't. I have no idea why. This is shit that goes through my head. But why not? but this is why. It all led oh, to something. Man. <laughs> and then ah ah he I this it reminds me of Meltman from a. Uh, is action League now or no, something like, oh, way back in the yes. day. Yes. Just, uh, like, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I can't remember what he, his name, but yeah, it's uh, bad things. I don't know if sometimes. I don't know if any of you saw this, but did you see like several weeks ago when uh, I can't remember which game it is. Whatever the like major like baseball game is right now is it the show maybe the show the yeah. show. Did you see the bugs they posted from? No. It's like this, but like on a more existentially horrifying... There's a baseball player that the bug made his face look like it was made out of a beehive. That's I'll show you later. Okay. It's incredible. But oh, we're still not done with these bugs yet. We got a couple uh, a couple of videos, either with Hollywood in them or related. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are some goofy physics objects for a while. Yep. I remember there was something else this would happen to as well for a while, but I can't remember what it was. Something else that was also not meant to be just kind of bopped around like this. Completely intact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Some good oh, tricks. I kind of wish they'd punched it. I like how the card did put on the brakes, though. Notice that there was something <laughs> yeah, going he, wrong. He totally, he's like, whoa, should stop. Cheer. Again, very early. Oh, I remember this. This used to be Hollywood. Yep. This this was Hollywood. And we had like a purple guy, a green guy. <laughs> it was totally a yellow guy at some point. Yep. I'm trying to remember what... Was this like... Do you remember what was being tested out here? I... I trying to get... Or vehicle interaction? Trying to get into a vehicle? Okay. This, it looks like a vehicle test level, so yeah. something yeah. with... And our good old uh, combat test level from here we forever go. ago. <laughs> He'll get there eventually. <laughs> you go, guy. Stay away to heaven. <laughs> Man. Oh, is he still going? Yeah, he is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that is the wow, he's 999 meters away now. Yeah, that is Bugs are fun sometimes. 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 <laughs> when they're hilarious like that. When they're yeah. There are a lot of bugs that are just like this texture's wrong. Yeah. They're just, they're not fun. Yeah. They're... Oh man. But yeah, that is uh, Hollywood, uh, our third agent now that we've shown. Uh, if you want to keep up on all this stuff, just keep in mind that we uh, stream every week, and we'll be streaming about AOM every week until the game launches, which is August 15th. Um, we stream every Thursday at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific, 22 GMT. Um, and I guess, uh, anybody else have any final words for Hollywood? Whenever you pick up the game, make sure you play through with him uh, in your in your group at least once, so you can hear his dialogue. Like I said, it's oh, yeah. yeah, it's hilarious. And and if you just leave him to just idle, um, he'll say some of the lines from his movies. 
<laughs> right. Because um, he was in some action movies. Right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's he's definitely one of my favorites to have. They're familiar in sounding, but not so familiar that we get sued. So. <laughs> 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 oh man. Uh, yeah, and I, I guess also we should mention real quick that like uh, you know, speaking of Hollywood's dialogue, like uh, our game does have mission replay in it. So if you replay a mission with different agents, they have their own dialogue mm-hmm. for them for. Every even even missions before you like are meant to have the agent, right? Yep. They'll still have dialogue. Um, uh-huh. Every every yes. mission has every agent has dialogue for every mission that you can replay. Okay. That you can replay. I think it's just like the first two missions that you can't replay. The very, very beginning. The very, very, very beginning. The yeah. intro ones. So yeah. the tutorial area. Yeah. Um but yeah, that's Hollywood. Uh, make sure to come back next week. Uh, instead of focusing on an agent next week, we're actually going to be talking about, uh, and this has been asked for a couple of times, people were even asking for it in the chat this week, uh, we'll be talking about Gremlin Tech. Woo! Uh, Gremlin Tech and also kind of like the core game loop for how you acquire it and run around the open world and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for coming. Thank you, Trevor, for being on. Oh, yeah. thanks for inviting me. It was real great. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if that's Hollywood or not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, make sure to follow us on social media as well. Now I'm just thinking of when Hollywood urges you to follow him on social media during the loading screens. Uh, we on Twitter are at AOM the Game. Uh, also AOM the Game on Facebook. And if you want to visit our website, it is AOMthegame.com. And uh, yeah, I'm Josh Stinson. I was the I am the video editor here at Volition, and today we also had uh, Josh Barons. I'm an animator. Jenny Campbell. I'm a writer. Ryan McCabe, lead agent designer. And over Skype we had Trevor Deval, original Hollywood douchebag. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.